Hi there, Leo, Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your March 2021 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So before we get started with the reading, please do know that this is a general reading and it may or may not tune in to each and every Leo sign people out there. So just keep that in mind as we go along. If you feel that you don't tune in with this video, you can actually check in with your um, ascendant sign, sun sign, and moon sign reading all at the same time. So that will give you a clear picture of how this month is going to be influenced to you as a whole. Um, so before we get started into the reading, uh, we are going to be talking about Pluto here. This is your planetary alignment activation for the month of March 2021. And Pluto is a very intense card. So this is like telling me that there could be some form of intensity um, within the month of March for a lot of Leo people out there. It could be that this is a period of change for many of you. It can be very intense and very passionate all at the same time. There is really some form of situation here that requires change and transformation. Um, it could be that there's a lot of action or um, frustration that is quite possible all at the same time because Pluto is a sign that is has a lot to do with karma as well and has a lot to do with uh, lessons that we should learn all at the same time. So um, the first card that we have over here is the star card, which is re really having to do with our hopes, ideals, and stuff like that. So I kind of feel that, you know, a lot of the Leo people here are starting off the month wherein we are having a lot of hopes into things. And we do have the crossover by the Empress card and the Ace of Swords all at the same time. So these three cards are going to give us an energy wherein, you know, the things that we want to bring in to the month of March as we begin things, you know. So this is really more of a point wherein, you know, we are having a lot more confidence in life. We are, you know, having the urge to to start some form of ventures like I want to do business I want to do something that can make me feel alive so this is really you know activating a lot of things that gives us a sense of pleasure what makes us happy what makes us feel joyful in life you know these are the things that we actually want to pursue things and you might be coming to a point where in you know you feel that anything is possible right now and you might be wanting to engage certain things and maybe you already have formed some form of contract maybe there are things that you have been planning to actually do or make you know wanting to balance something out or harmonize some form of situation or relationship this can also be a situation we're in in the form of relationship this is really more of a, of a point wherein you know you have a lot of expectations for the month maybe and you know there's a lot of things that is in your mind not in a negative way it's actually happening in a very positive way and you know you have a lot of expectations a lot of planning maybe you have a lot of plans with your lover or maybe you're expecting a lot from your partner all at the same time maybe because you guys have already talked about certain things and you're quite excited about that um, this can also be a situation wherein you know you are wanting to set something right in in a relationship setup um, Maybe this is about you wanting to form a relationship, wanting to form a contract with someone. There is something very official that is happening in your life right now. So I kind of feel that for many of you, this is going to be a month for in you. If there are any important things that you want to begin, want to start, you are going to actually do them this month though um yes i do see you initiating things wanting things and maybe you know taking action in certain things whether that is the right decision to make or whether that is going to be a fruitful venture or not is entirely another story because we do have your the death card as the near future card of the situation and not only that we do have a uh, quite a difficult cards over here uh, for the future sense so this is like giving me a sense wherein you're starting off with um the month wherein you have a lot of um um wishes and hopes and dreams into how how your month or schedule is going to be like you know you're quite hopeful with um 
the events that is going to be unfolding for you basically is what we're seeing here but how we are seeing it manifest for you is quite of a struggle so um i'm pretty sure that um you will actually see if this reading is really resonating with you as you you know watch this video maybe at the end of the month um you will be able to notice and see if this is actually resonating to you or not since in this reading we are taking a look on the energy influences that is going to be transpiring and unfolding for us again you know if it, it does not really completely resonate with you that's also fine with me and maybe you're just not connecting to the reading but from what i'm picking up for this specific reading for a lot of Leo people is that you're starting off with uh, uh, you know wanting you're rearing up to go starting your engine and so excited about life and then you 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 are you enter that situation wherein um, uh, it gives you a feeling that okay I need to change something there's something wrong in the situation that I am in right now and um, oddly enough we do have here the um the element of pluto into the mix so pluto is has a lot to do with death and rebirth and um we have here the death card so this is like giving us a signal wherein maybe um if you had prior plans before or prior schedules maybe that is going to change you know um things that you have planned may not entirely be something that is going to proceed within the schedule that you have placed yourself in you know so there's going to be a lot of changes and it could be very frustrating for a lot of you especially if you are the type of person we're in um, um today we need to go out and have a date and it cannot be it cannot be um, a day earlier, it cannot be uh, later or um, next year or next month or whatever, it has to be today. If someone tells you that it's going to happen today, it has to be today. So if you are the type of person who tends to be very fixated about certain things, this can be very frustrating and it can give you uh, a clouded kind of mindset. And you might find that this is going to be a difficult month for you if that is the case because there's going to be a lot of changes a lot of um things are um a lot of things starting out a lot of things ending you know there's a lot of adjustments that you will have to face and need to do within the month and we also have here the five of wands so there is also a potential to have some form of arguments and I would say that your words right now might sting or it's quite um, possible that any arguments that you come across during this time, you know, there is going to be harsh words that might be exchanged between you and a certain person. It doesn't have to be a relationship setup. It could be something to do with your coworkers, uh, relationships of all sorts. When we're talking about love and relationships, it, ha it can have a lot to do with our family our friends the people that we talk to or even the waiter over there or a store clerk you know how we talk right now may be argumentative be basically because um the things that we are expecting did not happen in the way that it should so this is creating a lot of angst anger arguments and you know uh, there's a form of struggle here that i'm picking up all at the same time there's also a sense here that there you could be very disappointed over something you know you might feel that okay i cannot trust this person i cannot trust that person you know i don't know who to trust anymore so there could be a sense here wherein you know you're not really seeing the positivity out of life and you're quite seeing negative about in in, in a lot of areas of your life we do also have here the five of swords as a last card of the deck so this is you know creating some form of difficulty wherein you feel that all your plans are falling apart or um you just feel that you know people are not being true to you or uh, there are certain things that is really causing you some form of headaches or it, it could also be a situation wherein maybe you are you know you did something or someone did something to you and there's some form of regrets lingering into the surface of things and 
um i would say that there there are also elements here wherein someone has um betrayed uh someone so it could be you betraying someone or it could be the other person betraying you there are some form of elements here that seems to be out of the place you know you you feel as if what do you have felt uh, as you begin the month is totally entirely different um as you end the month so it makes you it gives you a feeling where and you know you, you kind of feel lost you kind of feel conflicted about certain things you feel that obstacles are right in front of your face and you, you don't know how to set yourself free with that and i kind of feel that this is going to lead you to a point wherein instead of actually moving forward and doing something this is going to be a point wherein okay i need to reflect i need to stop um I kind of feel that for uh, some of you, if you have other ventures that you needed to take, you might find that you're actually not going to stay, take the step forward. But you, it kind of makes you feel that, you know, if you are inside of a crossroads right now, um, there is a traffic light and you cannot move forward because there is a red si signal in, right there um, at the stoplight, basically. So that is going to create some form of struggle in you. And despite the fact that you have this rush, the need to accomplish something, it's quite hard because there's a lot of things that you need to do or you need to work on and a lot of people that you need to wait on even because um, you cannot do things by yourself, you know? If, I mean, imagine a traffic, you know? You cannot push forward if the car in front of you is over there blocking your way so um no matter what you do you just can't and if you try to push yourself with that you know it causes an accident so um there's a lot of things that can be manifesting here and a lot of things can um test your patience i would say and i also feel that you know how you communicate with people is going to be a uh, big big importance you know so um, like I said earlier, if, if there is something that you, you can't make it work, you need to talk about things. And uh, if you try to force things and things are not really meant to occur that way, you can um, burn, burn connections or burn bridges that is meant to help you later on. So I would say that this is probably an, a very important time for you to to chill out and try not to overreact and do something to compromise the situation. So find solutions, try to talk things out in a very calm manner, in a way that is going to be workable, I would say, you know. Um, don't be someone that lashes out to people because the things that you want is not happening. So um, I kind of feel that people's patience can only go until somewhere. And sometimes when it goes beyond that, you know, people will not always abide by the things that you, you want, you know, even your boss. Uh, you know it's not always going to tolerate certain things and that is also the same with you and with the partner that you are in so i kind of feel that um the possibility here of feeling some form of disappointment is quite strong but it doesn't mean that that is the end of the line it just means that um you will need to compromise this month and things might not exactly happen in the way that you want to the way that you're expecting things to be but it does not mean it's never going to happen you know it can mean that there could be some form of delays and there could be some form of headaches and there could be some form of annoyances that might be happening but um, by communicating things effectively and trying to find solutions trying to to work on things in a very effective way can actually um, make a difference make a huge difference into certain things if you're not sure about um, a certain venture if things are you know quite stagnant or there are some form of delays i kind of feel that you will need to also take a look into your own intuition and maybe it's not meant to happen this month or it may be uh, you just cannot force things right here and right now and that could be the issue right here at the same time so there are just there are just things that you cannot force and you can you know um, 
you need to go by things one step at a, at a time don't lash out on everyone and burn um all the connections that you have don't burn the connections that you have with your friends with your allies with the the people that cares for you i know don't try to hurt them with your words because you're being selfish and all of that so I kind of feel that a lot of Leo right now will uh, will need to work on their tempers and um, try to be more patient, try to be more understanding with certain things, especially when things do not work in the way that you actually plan things to be. Um, let me see. This can also be a situation where in... Um, I would say that for some people, this is also a situation wherein maybe um, sometimes answers do not really come to us immediately. And you don't really have to stress about that. I kind of feel that there could be other situations, other lessons, uh, other things that we need to learn and experience before we can actually attain the goal, attain what we actually want to manifest into our life. So if things are not working out, I kind of feel that you need to focus and work on the things that is right in front of you. What is it that you can do right here and right now to work on whatever venture that you have? Uh, this is like more of a situation we're in um this is like an example this is not really part of the reading but for you to understand what i'm talking about is that for example you are you're single and you wanted to bring your ex back into your life and at the same time you know no matter how you wish for that to happen no matter how much you message that person um, they're not coming back or something like that you know you cannot just force that to happen at the same time you're also you also don't have a job you know something is not working out with your work with your career with how you handle financially and if you if you compare the two um it's easy for you to be able to work on your your finances your career so so for me instead of focusing on the things that you cannot control over I, I would say that instead of stressing about that, work on the things that you can control, you know, apply for a job, work on the job, do something um, that is going to give you some form of productivity. You don't always have to do something that just makes you happy. Sometimes you have to work on the things that you, you need to prioritize on because we, um, we have responsibility over our own life with our own sustainability, you know, all of those kinds of things not everything makes us happy and that is just the reality of life and um sometimes you also need to remove your focus on one area and let the energy flow you know let things happen and if something is really meant for you it will definitely be with you and it will still happen you know and this is like my favorite saying of all times is that um The things that are for you will never pass you by. No matter how long it takes, it will always, always be back to you if this is something that is for you. So do not be afraid to let go of certain things and certain people and certain situations all at the same time. So do not be fearful about those things, Leo. Um, yeah, so this is my advice and insight to how this month is going to be for you. Um, please do know that this is a general reading so it may or may not tune in for each and every leo's out there if you do want a personal reading you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by and yeah let me know how this goes for you leo you know I, I would be interested how this actually resonates and if it actually does you know and how this actually play out for you personally in your own situation um, and all of that i'll be interested to know that please leave me a comment <laughs> so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and i shall see you guys again next month goodbye